Newswag.com. Newswag.com. Yay! Hi, folks. I'm just um, walking the dogs. I was going to do. Um, so I'm just um, walking the dogs, and my mates found a pigeon that's hurt. Uh, but it's like I said to him, it's, um, it's taking it to the vets. But it's like I said, it happened to me, folks. Um, it says the legs doesn't, it, it, it falls over, so it sounds like the leg's been injured. It's like I said, I took it to the vets, and the vet just put it down, but we'll see. I said he might be better off keeping it a few days and just see. But, um,. So I've just sent him a couple of quid for the bus. So it's, today's topic is... Um, I'm going to talk about um, people who post on Twitter or whatever saying this and that's inspirational. Because it so irritates me. So it's windy today, so I don't know. I, I need um, what they call a cat or something to cover this mic. Um, so it usually... The trouble is, it's an unusual shape, mic, so I can't really get one for it, I don't think, because it's like this stereo thing, it's like a tea thing. Um, there might be something out there, might be able to blag something, but, oh dear, I'm so professional with doing this. Let's see. Oh. So, oh great, I'm sat my trousers, ugh, that's something unpleasant. So I'm just going to talk about people who post this and that's inspirational. Now, I've noticed over the years, it's the same, you know, it's usually the middle classes, often left wing, who just often do it, in my opinion, just to look good. So they never say what actually has inspired them. They just say, oh, this person or that's inspirational. Eh. You know, they'll jump on any bandwagon often just to show how good they are. To their friends. So I mean the, the example is the, when you see things like the Paralympics, gosh that's like porn to these people because the moment it's on they can tweet and say how marvellous, how marvellous folks, how inspirational these people are and they'll, even the TV presenters, how inspirational, okay well, what's it inspired you to do? Oh there's someone in front of me, hang on. Gotta be a bit careful. Oh dear. Oh god, they're in the distance, but the trouble is they're to the side of my um oh dear. Oh I do oh god. Um so I'm just getting texts from my friends. Quite not in text really. Oh god, they're over there. Sorry folks, I'm just going to have to wait and take till we're past. I don't know what they're up to. They're having a barbecue in the woods. That's clever, isn't it? Set the old place to like. I don't know what they're doing. They don't look like the types of be vandals. Here we go. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, it might be um, some kids or something. Uh, there's, there's, uh, the, someone told me, but I don't know if they're still there. Someone homeless lives around, but I don't know. I saw some kids the other day do it. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Yeah, they're just putting it out. Someone's lit a fire like idiots right in the woods. I saw some kids do it the other day. Um, anyway. Uh, I mean, there's kids zooming about on them electric motorbikes with their masks on. Now, some I've seen adults do it, but others... The problem is, is they're quiet, and if they knock a dog over, will they stop? You know, people are getting a bit angry with it one thing to stop if you see a dog but anyway I'll go into that I'll probably be a subject for another day 
Um, so today, like I said, I'm just, I see a lot of people post that they're inspired. Oh gosh, we're so inspired by things. It's, um, but they never explain what they've, what they've done, especially for TV presenters. Just makes them sound, they just want to sound, oh gosh, aren't we wonderful people? Gosh, gosh, gosh. But to me, a lot of these people I suspect are fakes. It's, it's just to be seen to be good people. Um, near me there's a cafe and you see them all sat outside. It's one of the independents and they'll sit outside even in the winter just so people can see them and they can tell each other. And you hear them as you walk past. Oh, we're, in, we're, we're supporting local business, aren't we? Gosh, if you go to one of the mainstream ones, you're, you're right-winged evil. But we're wonderful people because we're buying the coffee from here. Gosh, 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 gosh. Um, very fake for me. It just reminds me when I was a kid and when to, in the 70s, I was dragged along to church. And I'm not religious in any way. But I was dragged there and the um, place was, the area where it was, was um, mixed. So... There was, on one side, there's quite a lot of wealthy people, quite often. And then on the other part of the area, was, um, I'd, I'd say first generation into the country, Jamaican, I'd say. I don't think it was Africans or anything. I think it was a huge Jamaican population. They were quite religious, the ones that went to the church. I mean, this isn't like today where... You've got the you just stabbing each other. Um, these are first generations were very middle class. Um, I'd say conservative with a small c. It was um, because after all they'd come from another country to start a new life, and that tends to be small c conservatism when you're wanting to start a business. Blah blah blah. Now. This church had like um, a mix of people and it always amused me that it was full of these often left-wing middle-class people going marvellous aren't we marvellous people even back then um, and you'd have the idiots who would love to be seen more religious back than any other they'd, you'd get these daft women who'd stand up when they're singing a song with their eyes closed waving their arms to be to emphasise how much more religious they were than anyone else. I sit there laughing, it was hysterical. Anyway, we used to go to get invite to each other's houses and you never saw them invite anyone who wasn't white. They were hypocrites. They were just, oh marvellous, we're, we're so supportive, but deep down, they weren't. And it, even to this day, it always was something on my mind. It was so obvious. I used to think, why aren't you inviting other people? And it was just, no, they wouldn't have them in their house. Oh yes, marvellous. And that's what they like for me. Um, that's why, okay, if you ever want to, people might wonder why I have a bit of a go at the left wing middle classes because ever since I was a kid, I saw them as hypocrites. I didn't see them as good people. I saw them as just wanting to be seen to be doing good. And to me that's worse than... than almost not. It's, it's just fake. Now I'm not saying everybody does it, it's fake, but... It always felt... I mean, there was another one when I was a kid. There was um, my step-grandparents, lovely people. Um, well, they lived in Huddersfield. And it was a nice area. And the church, they were religious, again, I'm not. And they go to, the, I can't remember if the husband would go to church. It was religious, I think, if I remember. I'm not sure if he actually was a churchy person, though. Um, but definitely, um, my step gran if that's the correct term, she'd go re religiously, I think every Sunday, to the local church. It was a nice little church. Um, I'm not sure how old it was. I don't think it was brand new, but I don't think it was super duper old. It was, it was quite pretty, really. When you went inside, it was small and uh, it was lovely to look around. I presume it's still open now. 
and they had songs of praise. Now the thing was, very few people went to this church. It was quiet. I mean, like a lot of church. Even back then it was quiet, and I'd imagine these days even quieter, but back then yeah, it was just a few. My goodness, when songs of praise came on, it was packed. Literally, there was standing room only, it was hysterical. I sat there wetting myself, all these fake people, just because I wanted to be seen on TV, so they, oh yes. Now, I don't know if they were local or they travelled, but my goodness, they wanted to be seen. Like I said, this was the 70s, possibly 80s, I think I remember it was 70s. I get that the period is confused, they just blur. Um, I mean, I listen to music from the 70s, I'm thinking, that's only a couple of years old, and you're thinking, oh Christ, it's not. But that's, um, I just find a lot of people do this fake. And like I said, I'd love to know, when they say that they've uh, been inspired, tell us what you've done then, how it's inspired you, because by definition, you must have done something, presumably. I'd argue that's what being inspired must mean. Um, I mean, it's a bit like, oh, hang on, I've got to go. All right, I'll chat later. Hang on, now what? I'll just, um... Oh, it's my mate m moaning. I'll phone in a minute. Um, moany, moany, she'll be. So, one of the things that, um, just to finish off, one of the things I always find by these fake people is they'll go to, if somebody sets up a cafe where they've got, like, a lot of disabled kids that run in it, you know, they're the first to be seen. And they often don't buy anything, or if they do, they spit it out late. I've seen them do it. It's fake. Um, but they love to sit there and tell everyone, oh, how supportive. And they don't mind paying over the odds, because, again, they think everyone else can pay over the odds. You know, when they say, no, we support independent businesses, where something else might cost a quid, they'll spend 20 quid. And they think we're all supposed to be able to spend 20 quid on something. It's, it's fantasy as well, um, because they've got too much money. Anyway, all right, I'll finish there because I've got to phone old Misery Guts back and see what she wants. Great, I know I'm going to get nagged at. Nye, 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 nye. Um, and she's stopping me doing these little chats, isn't she, folks? Not on. All right, I'll chat later. Ugh, someone's coming anyway. <laughs>